This is uh, Langers with another car review. Um, this one's really special, been very lucky enough to get in my possession one of these. The Renault Megane 20, uh, R26. As you can see here it is, the lovely car that it is. Now I'll be honest with you, I'm not a massive fan of Renaults in particular, but this one definitely is something very, very special. Um, and to be honest with you, I've, it's got me completely th thinking differently about Renaults, which I think is a good thing really. Uh, looks wise, um, I quite like it until we get to the back end. And I'm not sure on that back end. The only thing I do like is these cheeky little twin exhausts poking out, very Golf R, uh, Mark 5 R32. Um, but I'm not sure on that back end. I think it was a bit of an afterthought. I like the spoiler, I like this. I really do like that. That's nice, nice little touch. I uh, love the wheels. Um, these are nice 18 inch multi spoke wheels. Uh, lovely colour in that grey colour, and I love the old cheeky Brembo caliper poking through there with the drill discs. Love that. Uh, shod with Michelin Pilot Sport Freeze, really grippy tyres. So for me, the outside of it, love the front half, get to here. I'm not so sure about the rear end personally, um, but yeah, love the spoiler. It's when you get inside the thing that everything changes. Love the fact that I've just opened that door. I've got the key in my pocket, it's a card key. This interior is absolutely fantastic. Recaro seats. And I seem to get all excited when I see the word Recaro. Lovely little touch here, uh, telling me that it's a limited edition. I think it's a limited edition of 5,000, but I'm sure someone will correct me on that. R26, uh, little trim bits here. So Renault Sport as you get in. The, the seats, I love these seats. So you've got the extra support there. Lovely comfort, which we'll talk about in a minute when we get in, but interior for me is fantastic. Things like this, little cubby holes. You know, cracking idea really. Um, you know, and you tend to find that they do things like, the French do stuff like this, which I've got to say, Volkswagen, why don't you do things like that? That's a fantastic idea. So cabin wise, we'll go back in the cabin in a minute, but it's, it's where all the magic happens in here, love it. Back seats wise, you've got, Leg room, just have to hold the camera a minute and do this. You have plenty of space in the back. So it's quite a family orientated car, really, I think. It's something that you could use as a weekend track toy, but then take the kids, as, as you can see I do, uh, to school and do the pick shopping up in. Talking of which, uh, before we go to the boot, you've got nice little touches like this where you've got the cubby hole, you've got this. Um, Two cup holders, which again, lovely little touch. Really like that. It looks like pen holders there as well. That folds away. Leather, obviously. You can see, very nice. Right, so now for the driving experience. And I've got to say, straight away, you can tell you're in something that just that little bit special. Uh, you know, I'm doing 20 mile an hour at the moment, and the car's like saying to me, Go on, have some, put your foot down, what are you playing at? Be a man! And I can just feel that. You can just feel that it wants to play with you. You can feel in the steering that it's just come, it's, uh, you know, what we're doing, 25 mile an hour now, and it's, it's alive already. They feel so, you can feel the front wheels are trying to work out the, you know, where next to go. It, it's, it's an incredible feeling. The only thing you'll get is in a go-kart and it, it's very go-kart-like. For such a big car, I wasn't expecting that. You know, it's a fairly reasonable sized hatchback these days compared to 20, 30 years ago. And yet it feels very light. The steering feels very, really nicely executed. So, I'm going to come around this corner now, hopefully you'll stay on the dash. And put foot down. Whoa! Four grand, under 50 mile an hour straight on, you have to slow it down. It's instant like that. Just have to say that this car has had a few tweaks, so it's not the standard car. It's got 265 brake horsepower, and 
makes my karate feel slow, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and what I'm also amazed at for a 2 litre turbocharged engine, that it hasn't got that turbo lag. You know, you, I was expecting it to have a bit of turbo lag, so I'm now into third. Put my foot down 30. And it just wants to go instantly. The power's. Yeah, I can't get over that sort of instant power that it's that it's got really, um, which is fantastic. Real smile, you know, push a smile on your face. Proper hooligan car that will lose your license straight away because they're 30 to 50, bang, unbelievable. Just a split second, really. Gear change is really nice, nice and precise. You know, instantly. You know, there's no very little movement in your hand, it's just bang, bang, which is really nice, nice and short, precise. And I say the steering, I'm gonna go around the roundabout now, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it around the roundabout. And literally, you can hoof it into a corner if you stay on the dash. Oh my God, and it's ripping my spleen and insides out. But, you know, and I'm only doing, you can feel the grip, you know, compared to, other cars I've been in where they're very wallowy, it's very, really well planted. Um, now, while I'm thinking on the subject of things, the biggest uh, plus, if you like, for me, the biggest um, benefit of this car is so much bang for your buck. So this car cost £6,000. And I've been looking on eBay last night, and you can pick the non F1 uh, uh, ones up for around. I think I saw a couple up there for three eight four one something like that. So let's say we chuck five thousand pounds at a reasonable one. That's a lot of car for the money, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. So this was six thousand pound. It was a low mileage, really good example. God looked after it, and. I'm thinking £6,000 for a 57 plate, one of these, you wouldn't be getting that sort of, for 265 brake horsepower, I know it's been modified, but what would you get in the equivalent of a Volkswagen? And I love VWs, but, you know, I'm looking at a 55 plate R32 Golf with low mileage for the same sort of miles, eight and a half, nine thousand. Would it be as an involving drive as this one? I definitely know that the weight issue would be a problematic with the four-wheel drive, so I don't think it would be as alive. This thing feels alive. So I'm just going to knock it down to third again, into the corner, and it just holds on there. And I'm straight away, I'm going to have to, whoa, it, it's electric. Absolutely, the, the video's not going to do this car justice. I'm so taken back by how good a car this is, really. Jesus Christ, that's just... I wouldn't expect a car this big to be doing that, really. Uh, I think they're around 225 brake horsepower standard. And that's fun, that's a lot of fun. You know, what could you get for £6,000 this much fun? And the seats, it just feels so nice and comfy. Uh, the only drawback is I can't find the fact that they're heated, which I think in the wind would be just a nice little nice little touch. I'm sure. So, yeah, <laughs> what can I say? What a car! Six-speed gearbox manual. Um, I say, that's really nice, nice and positive. You're not having to, you know, with my Corrado, if I'm being honest with you, we'll get onto that. I want to do a bit more on the Corrado, but definitely it's, you're having to do a lot of this, which in some ways is nice, um, but this, this is a different ball game, completely different. I know technology's moved on so much. I mean, my Corrado's in 1994, and I still think the Corrado soundtrack I said in my previous video in the Corrado that the soundtrack and the theatre and the occasion, you know, driving a car should be an occasion, it should be an event. 
I'll give a sake, this is an event. This is definitely an event. But the Kronos for different reasons. Five thousand RPM, seventy mile an hour straight away. It's just it's quick and it feels like I say alive, electric, it's looking on the tarmac to plant the power down and find the car. It's, the car's willing me on! Come on! Give me a corner! I love you! It's just fantastic! Proper loudy license loose of this thing. I kid you not, it's yeah. If you've got six thousand in your back pocket, get off watching me, get one of these. Six thousand pounds, a lot of fun. What could you get? I can't I can't think off off the top of my head what I could get. For six thousand pounds, this is as good as fun as this. And it's a Renault! I can't believe I'm saying that. Another roundabout coming up. I'm going to just take you around the roundabout um, and see what it does. Let's, let's push it a little bit. Obviously, I've got to be careful. It's not my car. <laughs> Handling is good. I think this is. I'd love to take this on a track day. I'd, I'd love to see what this thing does on a track day. So it's just got a bit. We've just had a bit of rain there, so I'm going to have to back off a little bit because I think it's going to be a bit greasy. Yeah, it's a bit greasy, but it just holds on. That I mean, it's just holding on for sheer. I've got to be careful. There's traffic on the road here, but this thing just is holding on, and <laughs> everything's sliding that way. Just get it. There you go. A little bit. I lift off over stick. <laughs> this thing, yeah, I'm speechless. I, 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 you know, and I'm not, I'm not breaking the law. I'm staying in within the back. But Jesus, there you go, coming into a lovely corner now, and it's. Oh, this is. I'll slow it off now because I'm coming into a. Wow. Stop watching me, buy one of these! This is fantastic fun! This, this is, oh. <laughs> Renault, you, fair play. Uh, I can't fault, fault you. There's only two Renaults that I've always fancied. The Renault 5 GT Turbo, when I was 17 I wanted one of them. And I always fancied one of the Clio V6s, probably like the Phase 1 or the Phase 2. I always fancy one of them. Not the most practical, obviously, with this. I've got the kids that I always wouldn't drive like that with the kids in the back, but. Wow. I... <laughs> and now I'm back to driving nice and sedate, apart from the fact that I'm in sporty seats, you would think you're just in a normal family hatchback. You've got a couple of controls down here for bits and pieces which is nice and I say it's a nice place to be this cabin I was, ex I was expecting for Renault to be if I'm being honest without a better word a cack I was expecting plastic like I say the only thing I would say I don't like that I think Renault needs to sort out the electric window switches <laughs> wow <laughs> oh fantastic fun Oh, I'm not going home, I'm going on a track day. Gary, if you're watching, this book a track day. This is fantastic. Right, I'll leave you in peace. Um, just like I say, thanks for all the likes, the shares, the comments, subscriptions. Keep them coming, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thanks for all the comments that people have written. Um, positive, uh, and some of the negative ones, or constructive criticism, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate that, you know, um, so thank you very much, and uh, keep liking and sharing, subscribing, um, all the best.